Is there a reason you're wearing the sunglasses right now? No, I was just doing that thing. You know, Andrea, I'm known for a lot of things, musically speaking. Like what? Like my lush arrangements. Mm. My mastery at combining different elements of musicianship into one whole. Why are you laughing at that? Is it? Uh, it just is very elaborate. Mm. Elaborate. A description of your musicianship. Yeah, well, guess what? We're on the road right now. So you would probably ask, oh, you think you're going hard on the road, going hard yeah, on the road. Yeah, guys, we're on the road. On the we're road. Again. So one would ask. Travel along with the train <laughs> So on the road, you're like, how are you going to make something? Where Where are your instruments? How are you going to make a lush arrangement? How are you going to move me? Are you playing to yourself? I'm a lush arrangement. I'm an instrument. Aw, oh, you are you're my you're my most lush arrangement that there are. I was talking about the computer. I have everything that I need right here. There's no Not way. right there. Everything I need. You know what's insane? Is, is this is actually not clickbait at all. We're actually just using a computer. We're we're making this whole this entire thing. No silly interface. Sweetwater was like, we believe in you, Sean. We've got the new uh, propeller head Reason 12 software. I'm gonna make this whole thing just using Reason, Andrea's mic and the, the laptop microphone. You don't need an interface. Surely there's no excuses. It's about being inspired by artistry. That's what it's about. I'm excited about this because I have not used Reason since I was in college. So I, I used to be I used to get down on Reason, but I haven't used it in so long. So Sweetwater, thankfully, hooked me up with the uh, the Reason code, and we're gonna. Just kind of talk about the workflow and make some music. We're gonna make some of these lush arrangements on the road. You know? And bring back the nostalgia of reason. Ah, the reason. Find a reason to live once more. I know. Well, Dre, you are my reason of reasons. Oh, really? But aside from that, reason 12 is You know what, what my doing. reason is? What's that? Sweetwater.com. <laughs> you dirty girl. <laughs> Harem fans, sweetwater.com. That's great. D'Angelico. Are, are you just going to keep listing your, your suitors? <laughs> sweetwater. Alright, so the challenge was to make this entire thing on a laptop using nothing to help me but reason. Reason is amazing. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do more videos on reason just because there's, there's too much to get into. But I want to talk about just what I did to just do this. I was doing this, I was working on this on the airplane in a hotel room, and I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, the only thing I have right now, the reason I'm wearing headphones is because I'm actually outputting the computer audio through my Zoom so you can kind of hear exactly what's going on. But let's just start talking about what it does, right? It can be a complete DAW sequencer. I'm going to be using this in Logic because I've just been the most familiar with. When I first started using Reason way back in the day, I just used it as its own sequencer. I've never used it as a plugin. You can use it as a plugin or you don't. if you don't have a DAW like Logic or Pro Tools or whatever, you can just use it all by itself. We're going to be using it as a plugin for this instance, right? So what it is, it's, it's everything. First of all, we're gonna start off with just the drum machine, okay? So when you open up a new thing, it'll look like this, right? And uh, this might look familiar to you as an interface. Uh, again, just kind of like a beat making device. You can uh, do this a couple different ways. You can just use my, your mouse and click on it. You can draw it in, which we'll be doing with the instruments, or you can actually play it in with the keyboard. If you're in Logic, you hold Command K, and that'll bring up the musical typing menu. And then you can kind of just, and then just really just grid out whatever kind of beat you have. So real quick, I, I just made a super simple drum beat uh, just to track stuff too. It sounds like this. Again, this isn't gonna be a drum heavy track, but I wanna get into it as soon as possible. So the main line is gonna sound like this over the drums. Okay, now what this is, I'll bring it up. All right, so this is just gonna be another instance of a reason that I have here. This is a synthesizer, the Thor synth. It's kind of legendary, to be honest, uh, but again, you can bring up the musical keyboard. All right? You can do that. What I, what I ended up doing is I ended up actually uh, drawing in the notes. So what you can do with MIDI 
is you can just kind of take the chords and i knew what these chords are because again this is kind of a version of a song that we've done before i'm going to hide the keyboard right here and these are the notes that i drew and i knew it was in d minor so i just made a couple of d minor chords and then i drew the notes in in logic you can do the same thing with, with a reason sequencer right and then to kind of have a little a little extra action going on i added uh, a phaser okay so uh, the most interesting interesting thing about reason is it acts like rack units that you would uh use in like a old school studio setting so for instance i can just leave this device this is just uh the reason rack on its own right What I wanted to do is I wanted to add like a, a slight sweeping phase. So what you do is you just add a device. It can be another instrument or it can be an effect, all right? So I'm just gonna put a little bit of a sweeper modulation effect on there. Honestly, I just use a preset. It just adds a little bit, right? You can see that's slightly aggressive. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to turn the dry wet knob down to make it less noticeable. And then again, you can just add all the effects. Everything you need is in reason. We're gonna get to more effects in a second. After that, I thought maybe we could like fill out maybe the high end with some cool strings. So again, here's this. Amazing, right? This is the, this is the same instrument. This is still Thor, but a different pad, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have Drea sing into the laptop computer microphone and then put effects on her voices. So I've created a banger track for Andrea to sing to. Yes. Did you agree with that? I mean, it's, 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 it's somewhat of a banger, especially the chorus. Hey, thank you. And uh, we're gonna have to add some vocals, right? And you're like, hey, I thought the whole point of this was to not use an interface or anything, just the computer. What are we gonna do, Drea? We're gonna use this MacBook Pro mic, internal microphone. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, you've got no excuses. You can do it with the, the laptop microphone. If Dre can do it, you can do it. Yeah, come on, bro. I'm not that skilled. British, <laughs> she has no skill. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, uh-huh. So if I can do it, then anyone can that, do that's it. That's right. Just, just, a, just another pretty face. No skill right here. Just to let you know, it's on the left-hand side of your computer. We found that out in our test of where the microphone is. Well, it depends on the laptop, actually, probably, but... The MacBook Pro, this one. That it's one. Right that one, because people can tell great. All right, let's just, let's yeah. just do it. Let's... A drop in the bucket, yeah. The soul I see in your eyes, and it's not enough to make any difference. And I thought this now, but all the hope and dreams in the world are worth just a little bit less. What? Look at Luke. You're so you're you are delirious. <laughs> you know, after holding my computer up for <laughs> one hour, two hours, one hour. It was yeah, only an hour. hour. I would like to remind you. I I really wrote down the time. Yeah, I I would like to point out Andrea's technique of using the. <laughs> <laughs> Drop in the bucket. How else do you want me to do it? <laughs> How else would you like me to do this? You're like, could you please get any closer to the mic? It sounds off of in your far away. And I'm like, this is too much. And then you're like, we'll put the gain down. I'm like, oh my gosh. Let me live. I'm just trying to sing this song. It's going to oh start a new gosh. trend. A new trend of, of musicians performing live. Billy Eilish at her next show. Yeah, exactly. I'm bad guy. Yeah, exactly. Duh. Like, what is this? Maybe this is an awful video idea. Duh. <laughs> okay, so now we have just the isolated version of Dre right here. A drop in the bucket, yeah. So I see in your heart. Okay, so what I'm doing is, is I'm actually, I'm using that same sweeper. I'm just using these as just plug-in effects. I've got the phase, a gentle vintage phase going on. Uh, a little bit of a delay, and then going into two separate reverbs that I just added from Reason's own, uh, just kind of reverb unit plugin thing, right? Reason is not enough to make any difference, and I know this now. But all the hope and dreams in the world, it's worth 
just a little bit left. Okay, so really just kind of having those effects really make uh, the fidelity of the laptop insignificant because it, it just sounds great once you start affecting it, all right? So the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to actually play in the melody line, okay? So what I mean by that is you'll hear it like this. You can see in the musical keyboard where I'm playing those notes. So I actually played this by hand, right? How do I do this? Like that, right? So I played this in real time to kind of have more of a live performance just using the keyboard on here. Uh, you can see if we look in at the actual uh, notes, they're not perfectly to the grid. Again, so it is kind of being played as an instrument, right? And then uh, what you can do is you can add some really cool arpeggiating stuff too. So the next thing I did is I added this arpeggiator right here. So We're just a little bit less than a nail. Right here. So this is a bass arpeggiator, okay? Now if we open up the reason rack for that, you can see I started with just this bass sound, right? Uh, from Thor. And then if I bring up the typing again, let me do that real quick. Right? So you can notice that you can tell it's like a synth with an arpeggiator on it. Okay? So it's holding right now. And the reason we're doing that is because I added this RPG8 uh, synth to it. Okay? So uh, what happens with this is you can actually program just a different arpeggio into whatever you're doing, right? So I just added this right here as the RPG8. Uh, again, it takes any instrument. Uh, again, this is just with like a, a regular bass sound. But if you play it as like a chord, you can kind of get some really cool stuff like. And again, with uh, the, uh, the phaser, this is actually a flanger from the phaser uh, effect that I put in. But again, I think just like having a, a slight phase on instruments, I think always just sounds like kind of cool. And then uh, let's talk. Let's listen to that along with the bass line. You might not be able to hear this on your phone or laptop speakers because it's kind of like a super sub monotone bass synthesizer. Uh, but that'll sound like this with the to kind of bring that low end. And then you can hear that I kind of added some strings here too from the same instrument before. And that's also with uh, another arpeggiator right there. I really, I really love the sound of that because uh, you can do like a lot of cool pad patches, I guess. And it just sounds fantastic, right? So all of these things I just did in like a few hours using just Reason as a plugin. I'm going to do another video on the Mimic uh, sample-based engine that they have here because that deserves its own video because it's so good. But I just wanted you to listen to the song that we made up for this uh, because I think it's like a really cool thing that we just whipped together. And it just proves that you don't need like a ton of fancy equipment. Everything you need is in for what I consider a super reasonable price uh, that I wish I had when I was first getting started instead of buying like plug-in after plug-in trying to get all sorts of different like instruments and stuff has a bunch of great instruments this is literally just scratching the surface this is eight tracks <laughs> and i think it ended up sounding like a pretty uh decently full mix so uh take a listen to it let me know what you think a drop in the bucket yeah. Strong. 
Sweetwater, thank you to Propellerhead. Uh, I have an affiliate link here. This would make a great gift, especially like a last minute gift idea because you can actually buy the software and it just author authorizes right away. You don't have to wait for it to get shipped. Uh, you can license it to a couple different computers and uh, it works great. And I am excited to just have this as like my, my all-in-one mobile recording thing that you don't even, you don't even need to bring an interface with now. Or even if you wanted to still track stuff with an interface, you can get scratch vocals done or scratch other instruments still put it in the reason sequencer and then uh just have at it <laughs> 